guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Anna and today I'm going to be doing a how to spot fake citrine so this has been requested by so many people so many people since I've started my business if you guys don't know I've been in business for two and a half almost three years now and a lot of people reach out to me on YouTube and they said they wanted to see videos on like how to spot fake versus real citrine same thing on Instagram Etsy I've gotten a lot of messages over the two and a half years asking me oh my god is my citrine fake how to spot a fake citrine because it is something that can be fake that is faked um, so just I wanted to do this video to be very informative and just to let you guys know what to look out for so the first thing I'm going to start out with is natural citrine. So I have put out a few different natural citrines. And if you guys are like me, I'm someone that learns visually. So I like to see the item. Like I've known a lot of people to kind of post up pictures and like screenshots they've taken. And I will be posting that of some fake citrine. But for real citrine, I have such a different variety of like lighter shades, darker shades and I will just kind of give you guys an indication of what to look for so if you are someone that's visual just like myself I think this will be really helpful because a lot of people ask me what does real citrine look like what are the color tones what are the shades so let me show you guys some real citrine and then at the end I do have some fake citrine I have two pieces that I specifically bought for the purpose of this video to show you guys. And then I will also probably screenshot some other like fakes to look out for that are very kind of like, you know that that's a fake citrine when you'll see it because there are people selling it. Now, I say this to say, also be careful, like don't just bash people for selling fakes because they might not necessarily know that they're selling fakes. I tend to come across it either on Instagram or places that I see. I tend to gently just message the seller and be like, hey, you might want to be careful. I'm not sure where you got this product, but you are marketing as citrine. It does look like it is fake citrine. So just kind of be careful with that. I don't do it to step on anyone's toes. I just do it to educate. I even remember there was a shop that I bought. I remember when I was starting out as a collector and I actually bought fake citrine thinking it was real citrine. Obviously, I ended up either giving those to people who wanted them and knew that they were fake citrine or I actually ended up tossing a lot of them out because again, I just didn't want fake citrine within my collection. But I did buy two pieces to show you guys and give you guys an idea and I will insert some pictures to show you guys. But let me show you guys what natural citrine looks like and what you want to look for. So here are some different varieties of natural citrine. So I have a few different kind of options to show you guys just so you can get a better understanding of what you are looking for when you are looking for natural citrine. So as you guys can tell, they very much vary. And some of the more common items that you will find are towers, spheres, free forms, flames, and what's new to the market are these gorgeous faceted hearts. But this is what you generally want to look for in citrine. There are rough citrine pieces as well. I actually do have some pieces that I can show you, so I will pull those to show you guys also. Or there are some citrines where it's polished at the top, kind of more rough and natural at the bottom. So that's what you want to look for. So I myself personally am a visual learner. So the way I learn things is I need to see them for myself. Now I know I've seen a lot of videos where people pop up pictures or they show you one or two things and you should kind of get an idea of what you're looking for. No, I need to be shown like a few different options and I'm very visual. So that's why I popped out a lot of different citrines to show you guys. And as you guys can tell, they vary and range in color as well as transparency. And that's what I kind of want to go over with you guys. So with fakes, you will notice that they are just kind of like an obnoxious unnatural color and you know what I mean because I will show you guys what some fakes look like after I go over the natural citrines but fake citrine is basically a very obnoxious kind of orange to yellow color that is just not very appealing to the eye personally from my experience natural citrine always has such like a pleasant neutral tone to it that it's not like straining or kind of an eyesore. It is very natural when you look at it. So that's the first thing that I definitely look for when it comes to citrine. 
Also, a lot of citrine is mostly coming out of Brazil as well as the Congo. The Congo has a lot of Kundalini citrines, which I have a piece that I will show you an example of. But all of this right here are citrines from Brazil. So the first thing I would definitely say you want to look for when you're looking for citrine is you want to look for consistency. So as you guys can tell, I'm going to show you guys a few examples by holding up some of these citrines. You want to make sure that it has kind of the same shade and color throughout the crystal. So for example, if I picked up this sphere and I saw just yellow and like clear streaks in it, that would probably be a sign that it is a fake. So a lot of citrines naturally, especially when they are very well done and coming out of countries that specialize in citrine, they mainly have one color to them, right? So you might see some inclusions. Inclusions are natural with citrines, but but you mainly want to see the citrine be one solid color. So if you get a piece that is very stripey, like let's say you see yellow or a champagne color and then you see a lot of just clear space, that is most likely a dyed citrine. And you have to be careful because sometimes citrine can be dyed glass or it can be dyed quartz. So that's another thing that's kind of really annoying about the whole situation is like, sometimes people are like, yeah, but even if they're dyeing a quartz, it still has quartz properties, which yes, it does. It still does have clear quartz properties, but again, it is not natural citrine. So one thing that actually I didn't know when I first was starting out is that citrine is actually amethyst. Yes, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but citrine is actually amethyst. And a lot of folks don't know that. And I actually didn't know that until I started buying it and kind of weeding out the real ones, the fake ones. Citrine is actually amethyst that is heated by the earth naturally. So natural citrine is actually amethyst that is heated by the earth naturally to give it these beautiful colors. Whereas heat treated amethyst or heat treated citrine or citrine they like to call it is heated by man. So it is mined as amethyst. It comes out of the ground as amethyst, either a dark purple color, a light purple color. And then it is heated up to very, very high temperatures. And it gives you kind of like a burnt orangey yellow color or a very dark, dark brown orange color. But that is man heated. <laughs> so I think that's kind of what they should label fake citrine is fake citrine should be labeled as like man heated citrine. But again, there are unfortunately fakes out there where people are dying clear quartz or they're dying glass to look like citrine. So I just felt like pulling out some different varieties for you guys to see is the best way for you guys to kind of what you want to look for. So again, for real citrine, you want to look for consistent coloring, right? It's not going to have stripes of just clear parts. It's going to have that same beautiful color, either a more champagne color, a more light yellow color. It's going to have that throughout the piece. You're not going to see spaces where it's just a completely different color. And then we also have variations of citrines that are on the more smokier side, right? So they're more deeper, richer in color, almost close to smoky quartz. So that's why they call it smoky citrine. Some people will say that smoky citrine doesn't exist. It all should just be called citrine. But I will say if it is a darker variety of citrine, calling it smoky citrine makes sense. I think that there's no wrong way of kind of labeling a darker citrine smoky. I don't think that's necessarily incorrect. But again, I know some people say citrine is just citrine. So here's another example of that smoky. But again, do you guys see that it does have those gorgeous kind of just champagne undertones, right? So again, it's never an obnoxious color. And a lot of these are from my personal collection. And I just feel like that's kind of the best way to relay of what you're looking for in fake versus real is to just show you guys the different varieties of them and again there also are darker smokier citrines there are lighter citrines that are on the more smoky side like this beautiful piece 
really really gorgeous and then another telltale sign of like a fake is if you see bubbles within any of your pieces so that goes for clear quartz smoky quartz citrines there is something that is known as an anhydro which is like a water bubble that is trapped within a crystal but be careful because if you do see if it's not labeled an anhydro right either your citrine your clear quartz anything like that if they're not labeled as an anhydro, then there should not be any little bubbles. And the next thing I want to show you guys is a super light citrine. Now look at this one. This is actually new to my collection. It is super light, almost looks like clear quartz. But again, it does have those beautiful hints of like that champagne yellow color. It just kind of takes a second for you to see it. Let me kind of put it down because she is... A little bit on the heavier side she is a chunky baby but as you guys can tell it has that beautiful yellow undertone again it is not super prevalent in this one as I showed you guys the smoky it's a really deep and rich kind of smoky citrine color so I hope this gave you guys kind of a better understanding and picture of what you're looking for when you're looking for citrine now I want to show you another form of citrine which is very common from coming out of the Congo and that is called Kundalini citrine and it almost looks like candle quartz the way it's formation is and it's really gorgeous and again varies in color most of the time it is more of like a darker color a more darker champagne brown color but nevertheless really really gorgeous so this is the kundalini citrine next to the brazilian citrine and i just want you guys to see like how much not of a difference it makes like it's very similar to other natural citrines again it's just coming from a different place so these are kundalini citrines also just citrines from the congo that's definitely what you want to look for you want to look for crystals that are either from brazil or from the congo again be careful when it comes to buying citrine from china either if you are a collector or a seller of citrine or crystals in general be careful when buying from china because china fakes a lot of citrine so as promised i'm gonna show you what fake citrine looks like and you guys it's oh it's <laughs> it's pretty you guys will see when i add them in so I'll add this one in first and I just want you guys to see how different that looks compared to the natural citrines. So this piece right here is actually a heat treated amethyst. So I just want you guys to see how different that is compared to the rest. So this is what I mean when they pull amethyst out of the ground and they heat it up super, super fast. This is what it looks like. And this was marketed to me as citrine. It was a citrine top polished point. But you guys, I mean, can you see what I mean? So there's also clusters and things like that. I will kind of get to that in a little bit. But I just want you guys to see just how different that is compared to the rest. Like, tell me that's not insane. That is so, so crazy to me. And then I want to actually show you guys a dyed quartz piece. Look at this one. Can you guys spot the difference? Like this is what I mean about obnoxious yellow. This obnoxious yellow color is fake. You can also see if you turn it, I don't know how well that can like show on camera, but you could tell like if you turn it, do you see how much of a difference that is? Did you, do you see the difference in tone? Like when I turn it this way, it's like green throughout. But when you turn it this way, you see like the clear difference that this is completely a different tone. I'm not 100% sure how well that's showing for you guys. But I just want to make you aware when you see these gaps, when you see some yellows, when you turn it on its side and one side looks completely clear and the rest of it looks yellow, that's what I mean by fake citrine. So you really have to be careful. And again, it does stand out with the most. I mean, so this is the amethyst 
and this is actually a dyed quartz. So do you guys see how different that is from the rest? Like the Kundalini quartz is completely different, but I definitely would say that it compares a lot to the smokier citrine. And you could definitely see the color ranges are about the same. Maybe a little bit of a difference, but the fakes, you can tremendously see such a big difference in the fake citrines versus the real. So I wanted to zoom in on this to really show you guys. So this is an example of a dyed quartz piece. And then this is an example of heat treated amethyst. I mean, how insane. It's so insane, but it's very, very clear that it's fake. And then I also am going to insert some more pictures of some fake citrine clusters. So here is an example of heat treated amethyst. You'll see that it's a very darker orange tone or a very dark brown tone that just looks unnatural. Here's some more examples of dyed clear quartz. Again, it's just that really obnoxious yellow color that just doesn't seem natural. Here's another example of a bigger tower that they're selling out again of China, which you want to really be careful. And here is an example of just clear spots that you'll see in citrine that's fake. So you'll see that at the bottom it's yellow and it even looks like it's been inserted with dye and the top is just that clear quartz color. So these are just examples that you want to look out for. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was super informative. If there's something I didn't touch on or if you have any type of questions about citrine or if you want to send me a picture or a video of your citrine for me to confirm. I know some people have asked me to do that in the past. They would send me a video on Instagram and I would let them know if it is most likely a fake or if it is natural. You can do that as well. Just shoot me a message. It's Anna's Crystal Shop on Instagram. Also on Etsy, if you don't have Instagram, you can send me some pictures through Etsy as well. So I hope this was informative. Let me know if you guys would want to see some other videos on like fake versus real crystals. Um, also what kind of crystals you would like to see fake versus real because I could definitely do that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.